Your ability to imagine is a powerful force that God himself has given us. Ephesians chapter 3 verses 20 to 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Most of us are used to asking. But we have not exercised the power of imagination. Probably because we have no idea how to exercise this power. In this video, I will be sharing a story about how Dr. Peel turned around a failed business through the power of imagination. Now Dr. Peel illustrates an important fact about human nature. You can think your way to failure and misery, but you can also think your way to success and happiness. Because thoughts are real and dynamic. Learning to harness their power is a crucial step in creating a life of your own choosing. Some years ago, I was working with a group of people to establish a nonprofit inspirational magazine. At one point, our endeavor was faced with severe financial problems. In other words, it was almost broken. And when it seemed almost impossible to keep going, I called a meeting. I invited a woman who had once contributed a nice sum to this magazine, hoping that lightning might strike twice in the same place. But this time, she said she would give us something of greater value than money. This rather surprises me under the circumstances. We couldn't think of anything more valuable than money. When she told us she was going to give us a creative idea, we didn't jump with enthusiasm. All we could think was, how can we pay our bills with an idea? But as it turned out, an idea is precisely what helped us pay our bills. Every achievement in the world was first initiated as a creative idea. First the idea, then faith in it, then the means of implementing the idea. That is the way success proceeds. This woman continued, now she said, here's the idea. What is your present trouble? Your trouble is that you lack everything. You lack money. You lack subscribers. You lack the equipment. You lack courage. And why do you suppose you lack everything? Why? Simply because you're only thinking about what you lack. You are constantly thinking about lacking thoughts, and you have thereby created a condition of lack. She told us that if you constantly think about what you don't have, you keep creating the conditions that keep you in this situation. By emphasizing only what you lack. You frustrated the creative forces that can get this project really rolling. She said it from the standpoint of doing a lot. You've been working very hard, but you failed to do the one all-important thing that will lend power to all your other efforts. You have not employed positive thinking. To correct the situation, she advised us to reverse the mental process and begin to think of prosperity, achievement, and success. She told us to don't hold on to the mental pictures of difficulties and failures. Lift your mind above them and visualize instead. Powers and achievements. When you elevate your thoughts into the realm of attainment, you look down on your problems rather than up at them. And thus, you get a more encouraging viewpoint. Always come up over your problems mentally, never approach a problem from below. If you ask me, this is wise advice. She told us the key was to visualize the solution to our problem. Suddenly, she asked, how many subscribers do you need to keep this magazine going? At that time, we had only 40,000 paid subscribers. I thought quickly and said 100,000 would do it. All right, she said confidently. That's not too hard. In fact, that's easy. All you need to do is visualize 100,000 people being creatively helped by this magazine, and you will have them, in fact, the minute you can see them and visualize them in your mind. You already have them. She turned to me, and she said, can you see 100,000 subscribers at this minute? 
Look out there. Look ahead of you in your mind. Can you see them? Well, I wasn't convinced. And I said well, maybe so, but they seem pretty dim to me. She seemed a little disappointed in me, and she repeated. Use your imagination to visualize those 100,000 subscribers. I guess my imagination wasn't working too well because all I could see was the insufficient but actual 40,000 paid subscribers. Then she turned to someone else. Can you see 100,000 subscribers? She asked. I rather doubted that he would either, but this fella does have a creative imagination. I noticed by the fascinated look on his face that she had him. He was gauging straight ahead with a look of wonder when she asked again. Do you see the 100,000 subscribers? Jesse cried eagerly. Yes, I do see them electrified, as I demanded. Where are they? Point them out to me. Then I, too, began to visualize them. Now the woman continued, let us say a prayer. And together, thank God for giving us 100,000 paid subscribers. Frankly, I thought that was pushing the Lord rather hard. But then I remembered the version of the scripture where it says, All things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive them. That means that when you pray for something, visualize what you pray for. Believe that it is God's will and is not selfishly sought after. Then it is given to you at that moment. If you have difficulty believing this story, let me assure you that from that moment on, Power Magazine Enterprise never lacked for anything. I tell you this because I was awed by the experience. Realizing that I had stumbled upon a tremendous formula for personal victory, I call it the power of positive imaging. I decided to apply it from then on to my own problems, and whenever I've done so, I've had marvelous results. But whenever I've failed to do so, I've missed great, important insights about the human race expressed by the famous psychologist William James. He said the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. In other words, as you think, so shall you be. If you want to improve your situation, get rid of all your tired, worn-out thoughts. By filling your mind with fresh, new creative thoughts of faith, love, and goodness, you can actually remake your life. Go out there and start using your God-given power of imagination today. You will be amazed at what you can achieve, not just for your business, but also for your health.